Is Elemental cool and fire? That's what the kids would say, right? Yeah, let's talk about it now. Hey everyone, this is David Stark from Watcher Pass. I'm here to talk to you about the latest Disney Pixar movie, Elemental, which is coming to theaters on June 16, 2023. Does this movie have the Disney Pixar magic? Is that magic back? Well, let's talk about it now. My hot take is, look, I definitely think you should watch it. It definitely has that Disney Pixar magic. It is a beautiful film. It is a wonderful film. It has really, really great animation and a story that has a lot of mean, thinly veiled, but I think it's veiled enough that kids and adults can both enjoy it. And it has some deeper underlying themes that try to get addressed in this film. So my recommendation is to watch it now. Is it okay for kids? Well, yes, it's a Disney Pixar movie. Of course it's okay for kids. Like, there are some, I don't know, themes that may be a little bit more adult, but they are veiled pretty well. They're kind of hidden in the overall world that Elemental takes place in. So I think if you're an adult, you can kind of get some of that deeper meaning. Maybe for an older kid, you might understand some. Or if you have an experience similar to the main characters, then you might also understand it. But I think most kids can just go to it and enjoy it and enjoy the, the fun characters, the beautiful animation, and the silly situation. So overall, I think it's good for pretty much all kids. I took all my kids to it. They were fine. So that being said, I'm going to tell you a little bit more about the film. A few things I liked and a few things I didn't like. But most importantly, the film starts with an all-new short, uh, Carl's Date, which reunites us with some characters from Up. You've got Carl, you've got Doug. They are helping to prepare Carl for uh, a night out that he is not really ready for. It is a very cute film. I It just reminded me how much I miss these characters. Like I love Doug. Doug is one of my favorite characters in all of Pixar. And it's fun to have him back. And it's fun to see Carl again and see the kind of update of things that happen after Up. And the scenario that they're in is really cute. You get a lot of little, like, Up references throughout. It's a short, but it is just a nice little kind of appetizer for this overall movie. So Elemental takes place in this city called Element City, where all these different uh, element-type characters live and coexist together. You've got a water type, you've got a land type, you've got a fire type, you've got an air type. It's basically Pokemon if... Pokemon were characters that that personified their elements and they weren't fighting each other. Now, these elements don't ever combine to form Captain Planet, but overall, you have them all coexisting and living. And the film tells the story of Ember, a young fire-type character who is trying to follow in her parents' footsteps, trying to make them happy, but her life is thrown into chaos when she meets this bumbling, silly, but fun water character named Wade. Their interactions cause some chaos that threatens to kind of derail Ember's life and also maybe the entire city. What happens? Well, you have to watch the film to find out. But things I did like about this movie, the first, look, it's a Pixar movie, the animation. It's just gorgeous. It is really, really gorgeous. I mean, it's amazing how every Pixar movie seems to kind of outdo itself. And this is no different. When you have all these elements, you have all these really interesting dynamics that kind of come into play. Like the fire characters are burning. So there's like heat there, the water characters they're translucent so you can see through them. There are just lots of really beautiful animation tricks that take place in this film. And the city itself is gorgeous. It's like a future kind of idealized uh, city with lots of glass, lots of lights, lots of very pretty things. And all of that really pops off the screen. It is definitely a movie that is a treat for the eyes as pretty much all Pixar movies are. The second thing I love, look, I love the story. I love the way that this film kind of looked at some contemporary issues, some contemporary topics through the lens of a kid's movie. I mean, Pixar does this regularly. This film is no different. There is definitely a kind of, I don't know, more adult or maybe grown up underlying societal theme in this film. But it is it is done in such a great way that it is apparent and easy to spot, but it's also kind of veiled enough that kids can enjoy it. The third thing I love, look, I love the cast. I love the voice actors. They all do a really great job. They do a really, really wonderful kind of like natural job you don't ever really feel like you're watching an animated film you feel like you're watching a you know film with animated characters but the voices all sound natural they don't sound dialed in they don't sound you know half they don't sound like they are not putting their all into it they all sound perfect it's really fun to hear some of the chaos that can happen when they all kind of get together the fourth thing i liked kind of related it's a really funny movie. There are definitely a ton of funny things about this film. There's jokes, there's situations, there's situational comedy, there are fun things that happen when the different elements mix, because sometimes the elements don't mix, fire and water sometimes don't mix, or do they? That is one of the main questions in the film, but it is fun. There, there are lots of less humorous situations, and also just a lot of fun play on words, like, you know, the Pixar is really good about having, you know, little puns, things like that. The 
fire uh, type characters run a store that has all sorts of like fire kind of um, fire kind of products. So they have like lava java, so like a drink for fire people. They've got like coal nuts, which are kind of like uh, corn nuts, but they're you know pieces of coal. Uh, one person is wearing a shirt that says "Kiss Me on Fireish," which I thought was pretty cute. There's all sorts of little funny things here and there that, if you're paying attention, you will definitely uh, chuckle and enjoy. And the last thing I love, look, it's it's just cute. It's a cute overall story. It's a fun story. It's a story about uh, someone kind of learning more about themselves and trying to kind of follow their dreams. It is a great story overall. It is a sweet story, and hopefully, it's a story that will inspire people to. Think outside the box, look at things differently, and maybe evaluate their own life. And it's just a sweet overall story that is sprinkled with some of that Pixar magic. So that being said, things I didn't love as much. It's not really something I didn't love. I'm just, I guess I'm more neutral on this. There are some grown-up topics in this film. Like I said multiple times, I think it is veiled enough that kids will not uh like, like kids can still enjoy it and not worry too much about the kind of like underlying societal things that the this film is addressing. But just be warned. Look, I actually kind of liked it. I like that they are able to comment on society. I think it's a, a good use of the medium. I think it's a kind of an art form to be able to do that. And I think Pixar is really good about that. So this is just something I'm a little bit more neutral on because it is something that maybe uh, you might then have to have some conversations with your kids, which, hey, that's a good thing. It's good to talk about some of the topics and issues in this film with your kids because that is the world that we live in. So you know what? I'm going to switch that up to another thing I like. That's the sixth thing I like. There you go. Oh, and uh, there is no after credit scene. There is no stinger. So once the credits roll, there are some cute pictures inspired by the film, but there are no scenes. There is nothing after the credits. If you don't want to, if you don't want to look at any of these pictures, if you just want to get out of there, maybe your kids have to go to the bathroom, feel free to leave. You're not going to miss anything. So that is Disney Pixar's Elemental. It comes to theaters on June 16, 2023. Definitely check it out. It is a great film. It is a really fun family film, and it is a an enjoyable experience for all. And uh, thanks so much for watching. If you liked this review, please like and subscribe to this channel. It helps me out a lot. Make sure all my new content goes straight to you. Thank you. Thank you.